Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Pixie Chicks channel. Um, I do different videos a few times regarding my lifestyle of living in Southern California with a WRX and a bunch of pets. And today I'm doing an update on my saltwater nano reef tank that I did on a budget um, so others can go ahead and get their own saltwater reef tank if they choose. So I'm going to start off by saying today is October 21st. Um, this tank has been set up for about a month now. I think I put the water in on the 28th and um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's about cycled. I actually don't test my water. I, I've had fish my entire life. I've had my first fish tank when I was eight years old. I started with a, salt, a fresh water 10 gallon and went through and made all the mistakes that you possibly could with fish. And then I eventually, I ended up working at a fish store in Connecticut. I specialized in goldfish and I actually did take care of the saltwater tanks. This is my first saltwater tank that I've had on my own completely. Um, I've lived places that had saltwater tanks. I worked at the fish store and we would take care of those tanks. I would go out and actually go and clean our clients' fish tanks. So I had experience with all sorts of aquariums and their problems that they have and what comes with them. And I actually feel pretty confident enough that I really don't need to test the water, which is a big surprise for many people because a lot of people, they end up overdoing it and they end up testing the water all the time because it's fun, you know, you feel like a little chemist. But heads up, I actually am a real scientist, so I don't feel like doing that in my fun spare time. Um, I'm not currently working as any sort of scientist, but that's what I do by professional trade. So let's start off with, um, I'll explain to you how I got started on this fish tank. So I've been wanting, I, I have a tank in the other room. It's a little freshwater tank with some shrimp planted, super low maintenance. Got that at the beginning of pandemic. I had a bunch of tanks when I was over in Connecticut, um, but I don't live there anymore. And I have been backed off of the aquarium hobby for a while now because just various reasons. I was over the water changes. I had a house full of tanks. I have tons of other animals and things. So uh, fish tanks were just something I didn't feel like getting back into, but it's time. Um, this tank is somewhat dedicated to a friend of mine who also was in fish and they passed away. So I went ahead and made somewhat of a memorial tank for them. Um, so basically how I did this was, we'll start off with um, this tank, I don't know, it's done on a budget. It's super low budget. Eventually there's gonna be more corals, but this tank's only a month old, so you don't wanna to do too much. And with it being a nano tank, basically I tell people I like to make myself suffer because nano tanks can be super problematic if you don't know what you're doing. So with that being said, we'll get into this video. Now the most basic um, level of what you need for a fish tank is obviously the tank, the stand, the lights, the filter, the heater, all of that. So I went ahead and I got this stand and this light off of, I think, Facebook Marketplace and it came with a tank. Um, the tank, this is not the tank that it came with, the tank. I don't reuse tanks if I don't know where they came from for fish. It will probably go for tarantula or some other fish that I just don't 
or not a fish, but something that's just not gonna hold water. Um, it's not worth it, especially with tanks this size, just get a new one. So I went and got the tank at Petco. Um, tank brand new at Petco is about 20 bucks. The dollar per gallon sale they say they have is just an, you know, a guideline. It's uh, not really called that anymore post this time of the world, um, plus taxes. So it's about 20 bucks. The stand, the light, and the other tank I spent $15 on. It's a basic stand. Um, it was messed up a little bit with like rusting and stuff. So I went and got a pan can of black spray paint and spray painted it. I got the most basic can of spray paint. So that was like three bucks. Uh, $15 for the light, $20 for the new tank, $4 for the can of spray paint. So that's, I don't know, whatever that is. Um, now, then once I had the tank and the stand, I waited to set this up. It sat in the garage because I knew I was going on a trip and I came back and wanted to make sure that I would be here for this process. So came back. The sand is live sand. I got that online, um, Amazon or Chewy or something. It was live Argonite pink sand. It was like 25 bucks for a 20 pound bag. Um, then I put that in, I got the water. And then you can see that right here where I'm getting actually free filtered water from a local aquarium. If you live in San Diego, it is at the uh, Fisheries Keck building, so that's a fun tip. Otherwise, you're going to have to go ahead and make your water or purchase it at a fish store. Now, once you add your sand and your water, it's going to be super cloudy. I also go ahead and I mix up the sand in the water to get all the air bubbles out of the bed. Um, at this time, you want the heater in and the filter running along with the thermometer. I went and I got the Tetra 100 watt heater from Walmart for like $16. The thermometer for... Um, it was it was one of those cheap little two dollar thermometers from Walmart as well. The filter I use is the Penguin 150 Marine Land uh, for this size tank. I think that's a good filtration. It will also add enough flow, uh, probably without needing a pump. And the adjustment that I have, I hopefully won't need a protein skimmer, which is kind of pointless at this size of a reef tank as well. The lights, I eventually will upgrade because they didn't come with the remote that it was supposed to. And these are just some basic Phoenix lights that came with the Facebook Marketplace tank. So... The next day, your water should be clear, and at this point, you can start going to add the live rock. I went to a local fish store and got some pretty sweet pieces of live rock, and I also added some hermit crabs to start the biological cycle. On October 8th, I added my first set of corals. Um, just some Fabia, an Acan, some Zoa, the Duncan. And then I also went to Petco that night and I got myself a pink skunk clown to start the tank. On the 14th, I did another water change with the free seawater. Just have to drive up to La Jolla for that. And then on the 15th, I added this little friend. 
Um, this is my tank right now on the 21st. Here's our little friend. Oh yeah, I also added snails. Um, I think it was Sunday I added them because I've gotten a lot of diatoms growing. Um, so yeah, you basically do a 15% water change once a week. I would have, like if I had blue lights, I would have turned them. Uh, so you can see the corals. Um, I do have blue lights. I just don't have the remote, which is great. Zoas. Little clownfish. The clownfish likes this cave area. Little blue footed hermit crab. So. It's my tank, guys. Thanks for watching. It is still in the works. There's still more to do, but again, you go really slow when it comes to mini reefs, nano reefs, um, because it could just explode so quickly. And we don't want that. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Max, come here. Oh yeah, and be sure if you get a tank, make sure you have R-O-D-I water to top it off. So stay tuned, I'll post more videos later, but thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and share.